Welcome to BOC Harare. We want you to be safe during your visit with us and this video will introduce you to some of our basic practices and procedures that you should know about. A vital part of our local safe work plan is the SHEC policy which seeks to provide safe and healthy working conditions for all employees, visitors and contractors. We believe that all work can be performed incident and injury free. As our guest, we expect you to join in our commitment to our tenants, safe work processes and safe behaviors. Safety is personal. It is your responsibility to observe all BOC facility safety rules. BOC Gases has an air separation unit, hydrogen plant, dissolved acetylene plant, and a compression unit. Other activities on site are related to sales, distribution, and maintenance. The ASU plant produces argon, nitrogen, and oxygen through a cryogenic fractional distillation process. All these products are produced in liquid form at low temperatures and stored in specialized tanks ready for distribution via road tankers. In the DA plant, acetylene is produced using a mixture of calcium carbide and water in an exothermal reaction. The gas is then compressed into cylinders. Hydrogen is produced by electrolysis of ionized water. The process separates oxygen and hydrogen. Gas is compressed into cylinders at high pressure and carbon dioxide is also stored in storage tanks to support this operation. The Transport and Distribution Department is responsible for the movement of raw materials and finished products locally and regionally. BLC handles other gases which include LPG, liquid carbon dioxide, ammonia and others. It is indeed my pleasure to welcome you to the leading home of gases and welding products. Our Sheikh vision is not to harm people, be it our employees, contractors, customers, the community, or even the environment at large, through our business operations and activities, whilst we look at providing quality products to our customers. It is important that as you go through the plants, you observe all safety precautions and do not get any accidents at all. We believe in zero incident, zero accident. As a testimony of our achievement, BOC Gases Zimbabwe won awards at national and even at SADAC level. Safety is one of our four foundation principles upon which the BOC spirit is built. Check is a prerequisite for us all and any business activity we undertake. Our safety will not be compromised by any business needs. As you visit our plants, remember, safety first. Your safety is very important to us and we do care. Enjoy your stay at BOC Zimbabwe. Access to site at BOC is via security manned gates. Before you enter our facility, you will need to check in at our security desk and receive your visitor pass for site access. This is to ensure that everyone can be accounted for in case of emergency. Visitors should display their passes at all times and be escorted by an employee host. General Site Rules Minimum PPE required at BOC is a reflective vest and safety shoes. All BOC employees are supplied with PPE appropriate to their areas of work. PPE to be worn in specific areas is indicated on signage and notices. Cell phones are not allowed anywhere in the plant as they are a source of ignition. 
Other items not allowed on the plant include firearms, lighters, and any device that could act as a source of ignition. Most of the gases at BOC are highly flammable and therefore smoking is strictly prohibited on site except in the designated area which your host will show you. Anyone found smoking on site will be removed. Drugs and alcohol are strictly prohibited and anyone found under the influence will be removed from the site immediately. Please obey the posted driving rules and regulations at BOC. The general speed limit at BOC is 10 km per hour. Park only in the designated areas and all parking should be in reverse. This is to ensure easy and quick evacuation in case of emergency. Drivers of vehicles brought on site must have a valid driver's license and a defensive driving certificate if driving a BOC vehicle. A three-point safety belt must be put on at all times. Pedestrians should always use the designated walkways on the plot and be alert for approaching vehicles. Where walkways are not demarcated, production vehicles have the right of way. And always remember to keep your eyes on the path ahead of you. As you move about our facility, please be sure to use handrails when you are walking up or down a stairway. Conditions covering hot work, working at heights, non-routine work and other hazardous tasks must be complied with. Never work without a permit where one is required. Generic procedures. Should you be involved in any form of accident on site, there are first aid kits in designated areas around the site. We have qualified first aiders and they can be called to administer first aid when required. All accidents, no matter how minor, must be reported to line management and managed as per the incident management procedure. We are continuously looking for ways to reduce and avoid waste. Waste products that cannot be recycled are disposed of in an environmentally sound way in accordance with official guidelines. General Hazards Access to certain areas is restricted to personnel who work there and approved contractors. Authorization from management should be sought to access restricted areas and special training may be required before access is granted. Noise is a common hazard at BOC sites. Ear protection must be worn in designated areas as indicated by location-specific PPE requirement signage. Leakage of cryogenic gases is a hazard. The risk depends on gas type. If oxygen, an explosive atmosphere may be created due to oxygen enrichment. Nitrogen causes asphyxiation and all cryogenic gases can cause cold burns. Avoid all areas where gas leakages have been detected. Upon arrival at your meeting location, your host will orient you where fire exits are located, evacuation routes to use, and assembly points. If you notice a fire or any potential emergency developing, break one of the nearest emergency call points and proceed to the assembly point outside the main gate. As soon as you hear the sound of the fire alarm or fire gong, leave your workstation immediately and proceed to your designated assembly point. Follow your BOC host or if separated from your host, follow the displayed exit signs out of the building. Remain at the assembly point until you're notified by the incident controller when it is safe to re-enter the facility. More than 65,000 liters of diesel is stored at the Harare site and there should be no naked flames at the filling station. All trailers must be chopped to prevent uncontrolled movement. There is a lot of manual handling on the sales platform, therefore, you should take extreme care. At BOC, we operate by nine life-saving rules. One, driving and vehicles. 
we will operate our vehicles safely and responsibly at all times and use the safety equipment provided. 2. Permit to work. We will use the permit to work or hazardous work permit system where necessary to ensure hazards and risks are understood and controlled. 3. Lockout or tag out. Lotto. We will use Lotto to verify energy or equipment isolation when servicing or maintaining equipment. 4. Hazardous atmospheres. We will be aware of the potential of hazardous atmospheres and take the appropriate actions to detect, mitigate and eliminate atmospheric hazards at all times. 5. Elevated work activities. We will work at height only when the required safety measures to prevent falls are in place and we will ensure lifting operations are carried out safely. 6. Contractor management. We will select and monitor our contractors to ensure they meet Linde safety requirements. 7. Management of change. We will implement changes to plant or equipment and work processes only when a management of change process addressing the safety risks has been completed. 8. Personal Protective Equipment PPE We will wear properly selected, maintained and task or hazard specific PPE at all times when required. 9. Safety Equipment and Devices we will maintain the integrity of the safety equipment and devices and never modify, impair or override them unless properly reviewed and authorized through management of change or permit to work. As you go through our plot, remember, safety is 100% of our behavior and 100% of our time. Thank you.